What's up guys, Bilal from Omnirf.com, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about how I got my first job as a Unity developer. Now, a quick disclaimer, my first job was actually kind of in e-learning, so I didn't make traditional games like at a games company, but rather I worked in e-learning, so I'm going to talk to you about how I guess I landed that first job, and I'm going to talk to you about those uh, kind of three main points of how I did that. So basically the first thing that I did was I studied my ass off, and what I mean by this is that I went to a coding boot camp and I spent you know all my time trying to be a better programmer and this was three years ago I was constantly you know trying to work on a project or I was either studying a concept and you really kind of spent all of your time going through one of those programs to um, just become better at programming and before that I, I went to college for two years so that was kind of the extent of my studying I, I really wanted to be better in that regard so you know just make sure that you study your ass off if you want to you know get a job going on from that one that one's a very simple main point basically yes you should always do things but sometimes to do something you should spend a lot of time learning sometimes the action to take is learn a lot of things by making a lot of things uh, or by going through, you know, some program like that. So my second main point is I kind of made my own opportunities to gain experience, right? Because every job position will say, and some of them will say, they'll they'll say this is an entry-level position, this is a junior position, and they'll say like five years of experience. And I'm like, what the hell what are you talking about? A lot of people will not apply because, you know, if it says, oh, you need this much experience, it's a total requirement. And they read a job posting as literal requirements. But when a job posting says requirements, that kind of just means the recruiter saw a lot of relevant topics and and toss them on there. So it's not always applicable to think and the requirements section is exact requirements and now I can't apply because it said that. You should not be, um, what's the right word for that? Ba basically don't don't be put off by, by reading you need five years of experience to work at a junior position. That's either an error or just, you know, to drive away people who are not, you know, working as hard as somebody else who, who does have that, that much relevant experience, if you will. Anyway, to get into it, what I mean by I made my own opportunities to gain experience is that sometimes people say you need money to make money or you need experience to gain experience. While that's true, I say, no, screw that. I'm not gonna wait until somebody, you know, gives me the, the grace of a position or the opportunity to gain uh, experience. Uh, make your own opportunity in that you can right now, you can sell games. There's the Play Store, there's Steam, there's all these. I mean, I, I published Actually, I published Rebound, and I remember at the time when I was working on it, actually a portion of it was video tutorials. So what I what I did was I actually it started three years ago or four years ago now actually. I started making the tutorials on on how to use Unity, and I also started working on like a lot of game projects. There were a lot of game projects that you that haven't seen the light of day. You guys haven't seen them that I worked on before I actually published a game. So I just made a lot of stuff and scrapped a lot of stuff, and then eventually published one, and that's experience. You don't have to list it under a literal job for someone else, but that that is, I made revenue off the game, it was experience, and you know, I, I took a project from start to finish and I did everything except for the music. I bought the music. Anyway, that was one big one when I say making your own opportunity to gain experience is definitely work on apps all the time. Make a game or just keep making games until you're hired if, if that's your goal. If you're just trying to do your own thing, then obviously, you know, make as many games as you want or don't want to, I suppose. The last thing I want to mention is that for those games, I threw together websites and that was also a relevant thing for that position. They were WordPress sites, but I had actually, I actually did understand web development and I kind of jumped at every opportunity. Like when I knew friends, I was like, hey, if there's a project, you know, a group of people working on, I'd be happy to, you know, give free help to it and, and help out. So I did. I helped some university students work on something. I worked with other people through the program I was going through to make some apps. Like I said, I threw together the, the web page for Rebound. I threw together the, it was Zenfinity at the time. I threw it together that website. So that was something else I thought was important. So just always be doing something. If you want a Unity position, always be doing something in Unity. For the last one, basically, I was open to relocation. And this one's huge because Unity, it's a very niche like market. You'll kind of see these Unity positions sit out and kind of marinate in job boards for a long time. Why you should be open to relocation is because there's basically two places you're going to get a Unity job. It's either in a metropolitan area, so you know, New York, San Francisco, Seattle area, it's, it's gonna be in one of those areas, or you know, uh, Detroit, uh, it, not as much, but Detroit is now kind of reaching that point. Those are the places you're going to get Unity jobs. And there's also a few Unity jobs at universities because there will be some new like innovative technology, especially now with the XR features. They'll have Unity positions near all the big universities that have like good computer science schools. 
So you could relocate to one of those places. I would recommend relocating to a, a metropolitan area. My, my first job was in New York and I was earning about the average like entry level developer salary for New York. Uh, and it was a Unity position, so that's that's pretty good. If, if you want my literal recommendation, probably live in a really small box in New York and get a job there if that's something you're open to. But yeah, definitely relocation, huge one, either metropolitan or next to a university. The last thing I want to mention is try to go for relevant job boards. LinkedIn is a very good one. Another huge one is AngelList. Uh, I haven't actually gotten a job through AngelList, but I tend to get a lot of matches through there. And then finally there's, actually I did, I did apply through AngelList once. So I take that back. I did get a job through LinkedIn and AngelList. I also want to mention there are local places. There are these local sites that will kind of try to help local startups find jobs or sorry, find employees. They try to match basically talent with companies. So see if there's a local kind of connector to help startups find talent and try to go through one of those. Just make sure that you have a lot of projects when you do that, because you can say, Hey, here's my portfolio. I made a lot of stuff. And then the startup might be like, oh, hey, there's this newer kind of person. We can give him a lower salary. Sorry, to be honest, but we can give him a lower salary to come work for us because he doesn't have a lot of experience. So he needs to get an opportunity so he can start his career. And we need, you know, less expensive developer. But when you get into that kind of situation, try to negotiate, try to prove your value. So make sure you're definitely applying on those relevant sites. My opinion is don't even use ZipRecruiter. I personally wouldn't even use Indeed. I don't know. I would say just don't use Indeed. Some people will say use Indeed. Hopefully Indeed doesn't DDoS me now. But anyway, so that's, I guess, how I got my first game development job. Studied a lot. I made my own games and sold them. I, you know, made the tutorials and, and made a kind of big portfolio. And I made sure I was open to relocating to where the opportunities were actually available. And the last one was I kind of used the relevant job posting boards. So local stuff, LinkedIn, AngelList, those are the big ones in my opinion. So with all that said, up here, click here if you want to get the Game Dev Tools ebook for free. It's basically an ebook on how to, um, or on what the tools are for creating your first game uh, and kind of how they work and what role they play. And we're also going to now like we're setting up a survey here basically kind of ask what people's problems are so we can make like more relevant content so if you want to tell me what you what you need help with and what tutorials you'd like to see or what other information you want to see click up there and also um if you're interested in like what I, I think down here we have like our games i was talking about rebound if you want to see what that is it's in the description and with all that said i will see you in the next video make sure to hit subscribe and click the bell down here uh, the bells so you can get every notification. And again, I will see you in the next one. Have an awesome day.